Whoa, she's a big un. Let's try to fight him. How tough could he be? Oh, he's uh, he's real mad. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, we got a uh, monster battle on our hands. Hey guys, it's Adam E.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome to Dragon Quest Builders. This is part three, so if you missed any episodes so far, please click the playlist link at the top of the description to catch up with the series. So last time, we defended our little town here from a monster attack and leveled it up. We gained a new citizen with his cool little green hat, and also we built this teleportal, which is going to take us to new and exciting lands, so... We will travel through that and pretty much reach the end of the demo of the game. In just a second, I think little Doozer here needs a night nap. He's all tuckered out after fighting vicious skeletons. There's only three bedrolls, so that new citizen LaRouche is probably not going to have a place to sleep. That's okay, he's kind of a jerk. And I forgot about this. This is in the demo as well. A light shines in the darkness. Images begin to form in Doozer's mind. We're going to get a blast from the past. A much nicer looking town here. I want that helmet. Give me that helmet, buddy. <laughs> Beg pardon? The words of the king hath slipped thy mind? Forsooth, what manner of hero art thou to forget such a speech? So this is like Dragon Quest I style of uh, these and thous. Permit me to regale thee with his majesty's words once more. <clears throat> In days of yore, the revered ancestor did receive of the almighty goddess the sphere of light. By its power was our world rid of the menace which did beset it. Yet, alas, some few years passed, there did arise a new threat, the Dragon Lord. He was in thy opening cutscene. With his cunning, he did steal away the Sphere of Light from us, plunging the land into darkness once more. Should this state of affairs be suffered to continue, the night must surely take unrelenting hold in our realm perish. So I say unto thee, vanquish the accursed Dragon Lord and reclaim the Sphere of Light. All of Alfgard doth place its trust in thee, hero. Fulfill thy destiny and deliver this land from the darkness. So pretty easy to parse that. Just, you know, beat the big bad, get the shiny MacGuffin, and save the land. <laughs> it seemed like a memory of something that happened long, long ago. But whether it was his own memory or somebody else's, Doozer can't remember. Hmm. Little threads of the plot here. So there are more areas to explore. I mentioned, like, a poisonous swamp, and there's a green dragon off yonder there that I do want to fight, but I am going to wait a little bit till we have some better equipment including the hammer that we are sent on a quest by Rolo down there with his beard to recover. So let's step through the teleportal and see where this takes us. We're looking for a hammer hood, a little golfer looking enemy that uh, has kind of an executioner hood on. He's a little, there he is, there's one. All right, that was quick. Let's go, oh, there's a she slime as well. I don't remember if they changed the name of those, but they were, used to be called she slimes at least. I might have to be careful here because I don't know if these hammer hoods are gonna Talk to me or fight me. Can I talk to one of these guys? We don't want to run into them. Maybe I just need to take them down and they'll drop a hammer. They're going to be, ooh, a little stronger. Ah, oh, they actually break the, they break the blocks. And they've got buddies, reinforcements here. So yeah, that's why we want that hammer. It'll help us break stuff. And uh, of course, craft. We obtained the first clump of fur. And ooh, we can make some leather armor. That's going to be better than the, uh, the rough cloth that I have. We can also make a shield from that. Doozer is so smart that he can just figure out cool stuff to make from anything. Oop. <laughs> He's just like, what, are you going to hit me? Okay, I know I only have a little life left. Just take me out. Let's see if we can fight these guys as well. Yeah, they used to be called She Slimes, at least, but I don't remember if they still have that name. We got a Daffodaisy Bud and some Orange Oil. Okay. And, oh, Wayfarer clothes. Those look much better. They look like they match the hat. It's a light and long-lasting tunic for the trendy traveler. Let me see what we need to make that stuff. And magic dye. Man, we're learning a lot here. I don't know if we can make any of this with this little crafting table. Probably not. We're going to have to go back to the uh, the mason's workshop that we built. If we want to build cooler stuff. There's a skeleton. Yeah, there's definitely more enemies in this area. And a creepy quarry down there. I love climbing. Who is that? <laughs> I wonder if that's a hammer hood that's going to talk to us. I want to check out this sign, though. I'm very curious... I'm bored. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, we can talk to a few of them, it sounds like. Hammerton Heights Visitor Center. Okay. <laughs> this is the community of the Hammerhoods. Let's talk to this little guy. Let me see if I can get the camera in there. There we go. Strike, strike, strike me down. It's a human. What do you think you're doing barging in here like you own the place? You got a lot of nerve, you know. Well, no harm done, I suppose. To be honest, I don't really have anything against humans. So what do you want? 
Can you teach me how to make one of those cool mallets? What? You want to take a look at my tool? But, 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 but we've only just met. Blush. Oh no. <laughs> Getting some, uh, <laughs> some risque content here. Oh, you're talking about this hammer. Ah, uh, if you want to know about how to make a giant mallet, Clabrina's the hammer hood to ask. She shouldn't be hard to find. There's a bonfire on the roof of her house, so just look for that. Uh, here, human. Take, take, take this. Consider it a sign of our newfound friendship. We got a signpost. And I, I guess I can post that to uh, write a message around? Okay. I can label some stuff in my town. All right, so look for a hammer hood building here with a bonfire on top. There it is, okay. We could, I wanna kinda of head down here and just see if we can talk to whoever that is. I have a feeling these skeletons, yep, just like the wyverns, or chimeras they're called, is the, uh, this is the updated name for them. These guys are gonna go right after me and this might have been a bad idea because uh, I'm trying to get to my food here if I can eat this without a skeleton smacking me. Okay, you guys go for that rock. Oh, jeez, and get my healing cream ready. There's a hammer hood there I'd love to talk to, but first I'm gonna have to take these guys down. There we go. Jump and attack. Hit and dodge. Oh no, careful. Drop some bones. And there we go, we got our first pile of bones. And that may, might not have been worth <laughs> fighting those guys because they did a lot of damage. I'm gonna fill up on some plum berries. Save my shrooms on a stick for later. I like how the hammer hoods don't attack us though. Let's see if we can talk to this one. Hello. Hey, you're a human! Human, human, human! Uh, don't worry, I'm just like Clubberina. I love humans. But what's a human doing all the way down here? You didn't fall in, did you? Don't worry, human, I'll show you how to climb, climb, climb up sheer walls like this and you'll be out of here in no time. You can make staircases out of earth or clay blocks, but you can't just plonk, plonk, plonk them in midair. So what you've got to do is stick, stick, stick them straight onto the wall. Like this! Oh, there he goes. Man, these guys are like the masters of building. How about that, eh? It looks like it's floating in midair, but it's actually just stuck, stuck, stuck to the side of the wall. Master this trick, you'll be able to climb up any cliff you like. Why don't you take a crack, crack, crack at it yourself? Grab that nice chest there, just waiting for us to pluck. If you can reach that treasure chest, you'll have proven yourself an expert climber. Then we can be climbing buddies. Don't have too many blocks here, but I think I gotta, I gotta hang on this. There we go. All right, that's gonna be a key technique to get out of pits. And I'm just gonna eat that since we're running out of room here already. Okay, and we got a little more HP. That's definitely helpful. Anything else to say? Smash, smash, smashing work. You can go anywhere you want with a talent like that. From now on, you and me are climbing buddies. I know that climbing is fun, but it's pretty dangerous too. Take care you don't fall down and bump, bump, bump your head, all right? I'd like to tick, tick, tick my blocks back after that little exercise. I could just get them from anywhere, so I don't really need to need to smack these. It probably would help to, uh, now that we're down in this pit, to maybe get a few blocks, just so, you know, we're not gonna be in trouble. Ooh, we got some clay. Oh, this is a different block. Oh, no. We're kind of mixing and matching here, but I have some new blocks. I'm gonna have to be careful if we're gonna get out of this place. I'll save my clay, since I think it'll be a little more valuable. Can we climb? Oh, we can climb these little vines. That's awesome. I wonder if I could jump in. Nope. <laughs> I'm just gonna put one Right there, jump to this, you know, preserve my materials while I can. Let's head over to Clabberina's. Ooh, those are not hammer hoods. I forget what their name is. Maybe they're gonna be aggressive. Are they? Oh, oh, they're dancing. Yep, these guys do not take kindly to me. They've got big old stumps. <laughs> I'm just gonna bypass them. I'm sticking with the friendly hammer hoods for now. Yeah, the slimes are real nice too. I bet we could just kind of climb our way. Oh no. I <laughs> can't reach those mushrooms, but I don't want to destroy her house. She probably won't care. But I would like to, you know, keep her... Whoa, she's a biggin'. Okay, let's talk to these little guys. Clobberina knows all sorts of stuff. She told us there used to be humans everywhere, and they were always horrible to us monsters. Then the dragon lord came and chased, chased, chased all the humans away and made not things nice and peaceful like they are now. I'm so happy I wasn't born back when the humans were in charge. Gives me some perspective on, uh on the things being a little nicer now for monsters. Clabrina, Clabrina, there's a horrible smell of human here. They're useless, worthless. I wish they'd hurry up and go extinct. But if you can't wait for that happy day, how about I wallop, wallop, wallop this one for you right now? Hee hee hee. Uh, you didn't hear any of that, did you? Uh, I never said nothing, honest. Let's talk to her and not get smacked by that by that hammer. Well, bless my soul if it isn't a little human. 
I'm Krabrina, the head of Hammerhood. I suppose you might call me the Hammerhead. What might a poor, beleaguered human want with me? Could I? <laughs> like, right up on there, a hammer, sniffing it. Mercy me, you want to know how to make our giant mullets? I'm sorry, my dear. I know it must be hard being a human, but you, you won't turn into a Hammerhood that easily. And besides, these hammers are our most precious treasure. The recipe is a closely guarded secret. It wouldn't be right to tell every Tom 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 Dick and Harry how to make them. Please. Oh, he's so sad. He's clipping into her belly. Come now, dearie, don't be like that. Mm, perhaps there's some way we could... Oh, I know. My roof has got three great big holes in it. The wind comes right through and plays havoc with my old bones. Ooh, I can help you with that. And don't get me started on the rain. I get soaked to the skin. I'll catch, catch, catch my death one of these days, I tell ya. A few block, block, blocks of straw floor would plug those holes right up. I'd do it myself, but I'm not as young as I once was. Well, how about it? Do you think you can fix me the roof? I can do it if I could craft one of those. You can use the ivy around here to make the cord. You'll need to bundle up the straw into blocks. Once you've built some straw floor blocks, just pop them into the holes. If you did fix up me roof for me, I'd be ever so grateful. I might even show you how to make a giant mallet just like mine. Okay, I'm gonna steal whatever's... Oh, we just have a chest here. That actually is gonna be handy because I got a lot of stuff that I probably don't need. So yeah, we can use... Oh, that's actually a pretty good boost to my uh, town score if I had that. So, and then we could plant that. We got a bit of fur. I'm just gonna get rid of some of this stuff, yeah, that I don't really need here. Uh, can we plant one of these in here? Because that would be nice. There it is. I don't want to hit these guys, though. <laughs> there we go. We got our first yellow petals, which who knows what they're used for, but we will find out eventually. So we're breaking ivy. There's a bunch of it up here. Don't want to trash the rest of her house. There we go. And we got some cord that we can make. I hope, hopefully we can do that with the, oh, the base uh, construction. There might be some more sources of ivy around here. There we go. We break the top. Oh, I guess they're all separate pieces in a, in a way. And I, one thing I didn't notice, even from the demo, is that any items that you happen to uh, to kind of leave around, they will be there much later. I was playing the early parts of the demo where I was rescuing Rolo, and I had left some items, and then I came back to that area when I was exploring, and they were still there after, like, hours of, uh, of playing. So it is very handy. Okay, let me plop this down. I hope this is enough to do some cord crafting. Oh, maybe not. Are we gonna have to go back to the, uh, back to the base if we want to make some of that stuff? Because, oh no, never mind. She has a handy stone workbench up here. So let's do this so we can make cord out of all that ivy. I should just make as much as I can. There we go. Oh, we make 10 from one. Okay. A dried, dried, dried grass together, tied together to create a cushiony floor covering. I almost started doing the clobberina voice. All right. So how many do we need? We need some grass leaves to make some cord. And we're only gonna need, I think, three blocks of this stuff. I'm just gonna make as much as I can. And then we've got plenty of cord, 40 lengths of it. Let me get some grass. I just happen to have some up here too. It's the ones that are more more full and, uh, and nice and lush looking. Get that without breaking too many blocks. Oh, geez. <laughs> we could be, oh, there we go. We could kind of climb up. I like the, yeah, the ivy. Kind of like the vines in Minecraft, but you can climb it without, like, the Minecraft vines, I know you have to, like, you can, can't really go two, uh, two ways on it. All right, let me get some straw floor going. How many do, we just need three. And we got ten, okay, for each one of those. And we got straw flooring, a covering that adds class to any earthen floor, changes nearby earth blocks into straw floor blocks. Okay, so if we place that down there, and there, and there. There we go, we repaired the roof. I might make some more of this stuff if we can't, or no, we have, we don't have any more grass, but the flooring, we can use that to very quickly make an entire room into straw. I bet that'll increase our town score quite a bit to have that. All right, let's go get our recipe for this giant mallet. My word, you fixed my roof. Didn't expect you to, <laughs> but I didn't expect a kiss either. And what a wonderful job you've done, too. I didn't think you had it in you. Hold on a minute. A human with the power to build, build, build things out of nothing? Don't tell me you're the legendary builder. Oh, my. Worry. Uh, would you listen to me? Getting all excited. Don't worry, dearie. Your secret's safe with me. Uh, you humans were once so powerful, but now there's hardly anything left to you. Meanwhile, us monsters grow stronger by the day. Tried to zoom out there. 
Truth be told, I can't say I'm happy with this arrangement. I think, think, think this world would do with a bit of balance. Now, that's not to say I want to see the whole world crawling with humans, but it would be a real shame if they all died out. Kind of like the pandas. You're kind of dumb, but I don't want to see you go. <laughs> all right, I'll help you, but this is just between you and me, dearie. Who we wouldn't want the Dragon Lord finding out, now would we? First things first. Let me show you how to build, build, build a giant mallet. I like when there's nice monsters in games that help you out. Okay, we have worked out how to make it. It can break hard blocks, heavy hammer from a large log. Okay, so what do we need? We need to get a log? Listen carefully, dearie, and I'll tell you about the basics of being a build, build, builder. Now, I do have a habit of nattering on a bit. Once I get started, there's no stuff in me. Just like a lot of characters in this game. What do you say, dearie? Do you have the time to listen to the old gas, gas, gas bag like me? All right, we're here. Might as well. You do, bless your heart. First of all, let me tell you about the giant mallet, the most prized possession of every hammerhood. With just a few swings of the giant mallet, you can chop, chop, chop trees into chunks and reduce rocks to rubble. Ooh, that's very helpful. There's ever so many things to be made from wood and stone. I'm sure a clever cook, cook, cookie like you will come up with all sorts of ideas. You can even use the giant mallet to dig up the minerals and metals you'll find up in the mountains or down in the caves. There's copper and coal and ore and iron and all sorts of wonderful materials buried out there, and they all have their uses. So take your giant mallet in hand and start smash, smash, smashing all the things you couldn't smash before. It's just the kind of thing the builder needs, don't you think? And that said, our hammers might be a little heavy for a human. I imagine you'd find them awfully awkward to swing about in the middle of a fight. But don't let that stop you, Dirty. If you want to give someone a good biff, biff, biffing with your giant mallet, go right ahead. Now, I just think you'll find it more useful for gathering materials, that's all. Let's see now, what's next? Ah, I know, all right, now pay attention. This bit is important, but it's a little bit complicated. You can use some materials to make new materials. These materials don't do anything on their own, but they can be used to build different things. When you patched up the roof for me, and what a lovely Dobby did too, you didn't know how to build blocks of straw floor at first. You cut, cut, cut down some ivy and learned how to make cord, but it was only when you made the cord that you worked out how to build the straw floor blocks. Now, when you've built yourself a giant mallet, I'm sure you're going to run around smash, smash, smashing things up, and you're going to find yourself with trees and rocks and copper and coal and all sorts of different materials, but you can't build everything out of lumber and ore. You have to take them back to your workstation and process them first. Dudes are so tired, he's falling asleep. Also, oh, I suppose that's everything I wanted to say, really. There we go. Not that you were listening. You were fast asleep just now, weren't you? I warned you before we started. I have a habit of prattling on. Ah, uh, never mind. You're the builder, after all. If anyone can work out for themselves how to handle a giant mallet, you can. Okay, let me grab some of my stuff here. Yeah, it's tough to know what we should take. I'm going to grab some fur and this, and I guess we'll take the sign and the... Oh, yeah, we can't really bring everything with us. I'm just going to leave these mushrooms. Oh, wait, we could use those. Oh, we don't have a cook fire. Never mind, I'm gonna drop these mushrooms and just leave them here because I think this this little daisy petal thing might be more useful. Okay, so let's see how to build that mallet. It's almost bedtime, so I pr should probably be making a, a straw mattress because there's some bad enemies here that uh, we might not want to mess with. So, giant mallet, how do we do this? Just a broken branch, okay. Very handy, is that gonna take my broken branches or is it? too much stuff, you put it in the equipment bag. Oh, it just automatically did it so that I don't have to worry about, there we go, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, the, never mind, the uh, the armor and the weapons that go straight in here. I forgot about that. I was about to say, that's very useful. Should I take this, uh, this station with me? It might be handy. We don't really have much room though. If I get some grass, I could probably craft some nice stuff. I almost think maybe we should head back and then I can drop a lot of this stuff off. And we don't have to uh, <laughs> to deal with <laughs> carrying so much around. Ooh, this one's mad. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, this isn't this isn't the quickest weapon or anything, but it does a decent amount of damage. It seems like. I'll have to see how how much damage it does compared to other stuff. Yeah, it's pretty strong compared to what I've got. So maybe I'll uh, head out of here. Can we break this stuff? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna save my uh, my mallet <laughs> attacks and keep that durability until we have more room in my bag, because otherwise we're just filling up on stuff that I, I can't carry. So we're heading back to town, I'm gonna take a quick snooze, and then we'll be right back out here on adventure. Although now we can start breaking through the mountains and finding a lot more stuff in this base area. And I might be able to take out that dragon a little better if we, you know, make some armor, good stuff like that. I should make another bed, because, oh no, they're gonna steal the bed. 
Uh, where am I gonna sleep? Sorry. Oh, <laughs> well, let me try to craft a bed real quick. I'm gonna drop some stuff in the chest anyways. And yeah, LaRouche is in here. That guy, the new guy. Tidy things up and put a bunch of this away because yeah, we don't need a lot of this. So I should just put that sign down and I'll store a bunch of this stuff. And then, yeah, let me see. Do we have any, have any grass for me to be able to make a, uh, yeah, look at all those clothes. They look cool. I'm going to need a little bit more grass to make that. So let me quickly do that. We'll head to bed. Oh, no, it's the ghost of Christmas Pat. No, it's a, just a ghost. It's called a ghost. And these guys are cute, but they are annoying, and they come out at night to track you down. I should be careful here. <laughs> go, go, go. Smack them. I like using the mallet just because it looks like I'm playing whack up mole or something, but it uh, maybe isn't the most effective, just like Clobberina was telling us. Okay, I'm going to heal. I'm going to eat and make sure we are okay here. And I was trying to grab some, some grass and I got distracted. Sorry about that. There's another one. Okay. Sorry, ghost. I got a date with destiny here. Where's some nice... Man, I've kind of gotten rid of a lot of the supplies around the base, so we're going to have to find some better grass. Here we go. Look at these guys. If I could avoid this ghost, I will show you guys the, uh, the cute little... Slimes. Let's test this out. Does the Oaken Club do more damage? I think it's about the same. Maybe it's a little faster, though, than the mallet. Can we even jump and hit with the mallet? Oh, we can. Okay. So maybe the mallet's not too bad. It doesn't seem to hit as well, though. Yeah. I'm going to stick with my club. Jeez. <laughs> you ghosts. Pack a bit of a punch. And they're awful annoying. Okay. Real quick before we head back to base. Look at these little guys. Where's their face? Can't even find it, because they're so darn cute. There it is. Oh, okay, a ghost is going to smack me. i got to get out of here. I think we have enough grass. Didn't mean to hit you, little slime. <laughs> I'll spare that one, and we'll head back to the base, avoiding this guy. Go, go, go. <laughs> Being chased by a ghost. Can we trick him? Kind of get him stuck there. There we go. Okay, building a mattress. Sorry about how long that took to grab some grass, but it is. it shows you why you should not be out at night. I'm going to... Put this right here, and there we go. Oh, we're under attack, and we can't sleep when we're under attack. <laughs> Jeez, can't sleep now. There's monsters here. I think that ghost is going to leave. I'll just go sleep in the teleportal room, you joik. Okay, I think we're okay over here, maybe. Are we far enough away from the ghost where we can sleep? Nope, he's getting... Okay, good. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, you're frozen, and you're going to disappear, I hope. I don't think ghosts can exist in the daylight in this world. There we go. All right. We are rested and refreshed. Let's put this sign down somewhere around here. And this is Cantlin Town, but I should probably maybe build the build a sign that says something cool. Let's write on it. This is uh Doozer was here. No. <laughs> we probably don't need to uh to write anything, but I could put something. Doozer's Doozer's den. <laughs> this is where he hangs out and he Watches his stories and all that stuff. I think I'm gonna call it that. I think there's a there's a fan site for Dragon Quest called Dragon's Den that has been around for a long time. Has some good info. So there we go. Appropriate. I'm happy with that message. And did that give us more points? I could. I think it did when I placed it down. Oh yeah, I forgot. We came back to talk to Rolo as well. Get off my new sign, buddy. By my Nove knuckles, Doozer, you've done it. Uh, you've built a great mallet or giant mallet. Sorry. I have a little bit of uh, Scottish in me because of those hammer hoods. With a hammer like that, you could smash up all sorts of things that you couldn't smash up before. Why, just look around. There are trees and rocks, and through the blue teleportal, there's said to be copper and coal in abundance. Once a clever lad like you gets his hands on material like that, well, there's no end to what you might invent. And just think, when you build your new inventions, you might be able to dream up recipes for even more exciting items. Go on, Doozer, head out into the world and swing that mallet around like there's no tomorrow. Smash off everything you see and pick up all the materials you haven't been able to collect so far. And if you work out how to build new things, waste no time. Build them straight away. To begin with, why don't you try chopping down one of those nearby trees? Oh, he gave me some Camaro wings for that. So that'll be easier to get back to town. We don't have to go all the way through the teleportal if I want to hold on to those. Pippa's going crazy. Okay, so I wanted to see what we need to do to build that armor, because I'd like to look a little cooler. So the Wayfarer clothes, we need one more coarse cloth. Ooh, where do we get that? Because we got everything else that we need. The leather armor just needs a bit of copper. So that's plus nine. 
That's only plus five, but it increases the movement speed and it looks cool. And then a little bit of wood and we can build that. Okay. We don't even, even need fur, it seems like, to build most of that stuff. That's for the shield. Let's go chop this tree down and see how this works here. Just kind of smack it, smack it, smack it. It's weird that we're not using an ax, but I think we got plumberry lumber. I think we can uh, get an ax later on. Probably a little bit better version of the hammer. And I can break that stump. And we got a seedling. Oh, maybe I'll plant it a little closer to town here. And that might grow. We'll see. Okay, so I think I have enough to build. We got wood. Okay, so we're going to have to change the plumberry lumber into wood. And I bet that'll open up some crafting ideas in my little noggin. We can make a bench, a long wooden seat that's perfect for placing in a park. It can be set on, sat on. And we can also make a saloon door. Yeah, we're opening up a ton of decorations and different things. So let's just, yeah, we'll make a bunch of wood. And I want to make a shield and kind of make some good stuff before we head off to fight things again. There we go. We can make a leather shield. Just one's good. I did hear the tip that you don't really want to build more than you really need because eventually you're going to be getting new equipment at a pretty steady rate. Like if I, yeah, I have an extra one of my ragged rags and because of that, I'm not really going to use it most likely unless I have a back, need a backup because I'm going to be ca crafting this here pretty soon. And yeah, we need copper and some fur. I do have this shield and I wonder, is there a way to defend ourselves? Hmm. It might, it might just give me a passive you know, uh, bonus to my defense yeah it looks cool too okay so let me uh let me run around here and get a little bit more wood before we leave just in case we're gonna need it i love that the slimes are just kind of hanging out and they don't really care as long as i don't run into them oh <laughs> i meant to go after that tree i ran right into a slime on accident can we break let's try to break through some of this stone so there's like some far off islands you can see there's some crazy materials over there but to get to that, we can't really go across the water. Doozer's not the best swimmer. That slime is stalking me all the way over here. I'm sorry, little guy, but I'm gonna have to take you out. There we go. Uh, but yeah, so because Doozer can't swim very well, we have to have to find ways to get to the other land masses. And I don't think it's gonna be too easy. That didn't seem to give me any stone, did it? It just kind of broke it. All right. Well, that's okay. We are probably going to get something to break stuff better. Or maybe it's just not the type of stone we can really collect. So how are we doing? I'm going to plant a couple of these. Let's get back to uh, to the teleportal area. I feel like that might be good to do. And I'll leave some of this stuff here. So one more time, I want to make sure I know what we need, because I could bring some of it with me to make the wayfarer's clothes. Coarse cloth and a bunch of that, yeah, that I could get pretty easily. And then copper and fur for the leather armor. So let's just leave, yeah, I'll just leave a lot of this stuff here because we don't really need it. Sort that out. I'll take a little bit of wood with me and some of that earth. It's tempting to bring so much stuff because I could use it to craft, but at the same time, it's like we're, you know, we're just hogging up our inventory. I think we're going to be able to expand it here soon or at least have better places to store stuff. Let me craft some of this. So we're going to make a saloon door just because we can. And uh, what is the bench? Let's do that as well. Doesn't not too expensive, and it should spruce this place up a little bit. Okay, so maybe we'll get rid of this straw door and put a saloon door here. Oh no, the workshop is destroyed. <laughs> it looks like Rollo is real sad about that. Okay, I'm gonna make a saloon door though. Look at that, and we built the stonemasons workshop. We got a better score. I think it looks a lot cooler as well. And then the bench, we don't have to destroy anything for this. I'm gonna plop it down in the teleportal room over here. Oh, there we go. Gonna add to, oh, is that, it didn't seem like it added to the score, but it is a nice way to sit and relax. Okay, so I'm gonna throw that away. We got a couple quests here. What are you doing on the, the pea pot there? That's where we have to balance when we gotta go to the bathroom. And yeah, just kinda deposit some of the stuff that we don't need, sort out my items, and we'll see what other quests we got here. So, Dooza, are you gathering all sorts of new and useful materials? You must be building up a sizable stockpile of all the amazing things you found. If you haven't yet, well, it's only a matter of time. Either way, you're going to need somewhere to store it before it gets out of hand. Oh, there we go. I can only imagine how very vexing it must be to go and pick up a tantalizing new item and find your hands are full. Well, never fear, Dooza, for as you toil endlessly to gather materials, so too am I hard at work. I've been poring over the Kentland Chronicle and see... and. 
you see, and have deciphered the means to construct something called the Colossal Coffer. Oh, I heard about this. So this is like a linked ender chest type of thing in Minecraft terms. If it's as remarkable a repository as the book describes, it will make gathering and collecting materials a breeze. Do so if I show you how to make the Colossal Coffer. Will you build one for me? I want to see the fruits of my studies with my own two eyes. So how do we build this thing? Let's see, it's an enormous enchanted chest that can store all the materials a busy builder needs, and it has a bunch of points with it. Okay, so what do we need to do? This is gonna be very helpful because we can carry one with us most likely, and we have extra inventory. Fur, a pot, and oh, we almost have enough for that stuff. If I hadn't built this shield, we probably would have enough fur for that. So I need two fur, and I can just steal one of these pots or make another one. So that'll be pretty easy. We're gonna have to go fight some hammer hoods though, I think, to make that happen. Hey, LaRouche, come over here. Ah, Doozer. I've just been talking to Pippa. She said you were looking for new people to help your town grow. I think I might know where you could find someone. On the far side of the Hammerhoods village, there's a small island connected to the mainland by a narrow land bridge. I passed by that place on my way here, and I thought I saw a bonfire burning. You might want to head out there and see for yourself. I'm sure Pippa would be thrilled if you brought someone back with you. Oh, and Doozer, it's a long way away, so it can't hurt to build a place to sleep while you're out there. Have you seen any of those old, broken-down houses where, you, when you've been out on your wanderings? If you fix them up, you could use them as a home from home, from home and uh, take a break without having to come all the way back to town. But it's up to you, really. For the time being, just follow your compass and see if you can find a new person to join our town. Okay. So that's, uh, I could, you know, go after both of these quests at the same time. Let's do it. I'll take some wood with me, maybe. And let's get going. Because, yeah, now that we can chop wood, it seems like it'll be worth using a lot of that stuff. We could probably get some more on our own anyways. Okay, so let's see. We can break these rocks, most likely. Are they going to drop anything? Because we can see. There we go. We got our first stone. And now we can craft a stone sword. Ooh, that's nice. And a stone table. Slab of stone shaped and smoothed into a cylinder. And a stone stool. Man, we're getting so much stuff. We have to use hide. For that, stone steps, I stole some of those from the goddess's cavern where we woke up. And finally, the mason's workstation. We can make one of our own. All right, that's it. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff, but now we know how to build it. I probably don't need that branch. So our goal here, we're gonna fight some hammer hoods. Maybe even that big one over there. Let's try to fight him. How tough could he be? He does have a giant mallet. So let's fight this guy and see. Oh, I see some coal and uh, copper down there. See if we can hit him without... Oh, oh my gosh. Yep, he does do a good amount of damage. And he's got back up here. Try to hit these guys without getting too much in their way. Oh, he's uh, he's real mad. He's real mad. Have a quick little uh, brunch and get back into battle. Look out. Whoa. Oh, jeez. I got stuck on a block there. Couldn't see where I was going. Look out. Oh, my God. Oh, he fell. Okay. He messed that up. What a blunder. Gotta try to hit these guys. Oh, jeez. They're gonna do some mining for me. Does my... What is that? There's something on the... Uh, the under my my little bar. It's like a piece of clothing. Making it seem like maybe my equipment is breaking or something. Or it's just telling me. Like, maybe I have a status effect. I'll have to look into that. Look out! The skeleton joining the fight in the middle. That's not very sporting, but these guys are monsters. He sometimes will uh, gear up for a huge attack, and then maybe because I'm not in the way, he gives up on it. There we go. I just wanted to go in for the finisher there, since we're close. A couple more smacks. All right, and we got a leather sack. What is that for? Hey, skeleton, I'm trying to look at my loot here. Not enough space. Oh, I, I bet that opens up to a bunch of stuff. So I should probably hold on to that for when I have more inventory space. We did get some fur. I think we have enough. What was it? We just needed fur and a pot to craft the one thing. And I think I could make, I forget what we need to make a pot. I think it's just earthen material. Clobberina, they're, they're freaking out about the Lady Clobberina. That skeleton's real mad. He's gonna chase me all the way up here. I'm just gonna hide and hopefully he doesn't make his way up. Where's that bonfire that LaRouche was talking about? Okay. So I could make a pot, which we definitely need to do. And then, oh, is this actually linked to any chest within the area? Because I didn't have any blue goo. And ooh, we could make a sword. We could make the wafers clothes as well. Where did I get that coarse cloth? Hmm, I don't remember having any, unless it dropped.
but we really want to make the Colossal Coffer. That's what it is. That's what it's about. There we go. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I thought it was only chests that were nearby, but it seems like the crafting table is letting me do anything with any material that we have, like, anywhere at all. It's crazy. Or is that maybe inside that one bag that I've got? Hmm. I'm going to make these clothes because they look cool, and I want to look cool. All right. So look at all the stuff we got. All right, we're going into our equipment. We have our stone sword, which is probably much stronger. I can actually see. So, yeah, the, the hammer is better. The mallet is better than the clubs, but kind of slow. And then the, so the stone sword is even better than that. We're going to change my gear out because that's a lot better defense and makes me faster. And I'm going to switch to my new sword here. And then we build this co coffer. Look at it. It is colossal. Jeez. Hey, little guy. Those are... Uh, those are hammer hoods down there. Is he attacking my friends? Oh my gosh, ah, oh, he knocked me off. Oh, we definitely need to heal. We definitely need to heal after that. He like distracted me by hitting the cute buddies that I had made, and now he's going after me. What a smart little skeleton. But he's not long for this world, because look at that. I think we could probably take on that dragon, because I've got quite a bit more damage under my belt, and we got a critical hit there. Okay. So let me, uh, let me grab a little bit of this stuff. Can we open this yet? Do we have enough room? Not enough space. Jeez. What is in this little sack here? Let me, uh, let me head back. Did we build a bed? I can't remember. No, we just went back and slept at the home area. I do want to complete LaRouche's quest here. Oh, wait. The, the chest is in here. Okay. So, yeah. What was up with, uh... I didn't think I had any cloth, but apparently we did. I'm going to throw some of the stuff away in there. And now can we open it? Jeez, not enough space still. Okay, let me throw that in there. Throw a bunch of this stuff in. I think we're okay with food. Okay, please let me open this. Not enough space. I'm, I'm just going to maybe carry this, and and we'll uh, we'll worry about open it when we get back to the, uh, to the base area. I don't want to leave any stone behind. Okay. I think we're good. I could probably use a rest, but I'd like to see. Is there a bonfire within viewing distance? Possibly. We made that coffer. There's a skeleton. I'm going to try to outwit by going down this way. <laughs> okay, run, run, run. We're going to try to explore a little more here, even though it's risky at night to do so. I really want to see if we can find that other person. Oh, I see it. We have to go all the way down and around. That might be a little tough. Some of the enemies are sleeping. Let's see. So that might be the bonfire that he was talking about. That's pretty far away, though. Is that accessible? It looks like it. Okay. I was going to start mining copper and uh, and coal, because we saw some of that down on the cliff, but it, it does kind of seem like maybe it would be worth waiting to make sure we have room for that stuff. I'm going to grab a few more plum berries, because we are, we are running a little low on food probably use one right now if a skeleton wasn't chasing me. Okay, okay. Leave me alone. Get my sword ready, because this is not going to be an easy night. There we are. Okay, if we can make it to that. Look at these bushes. Can we break these and get something? There we go. Oh, we got a medicinal leaf. Okay. And this we can use uh, to make a medicinal herb. And also fruit salad, <laughs> of course. So that'll fill hunger and HP. That's a nice... Nice little synergy there. Oh, I didn't mean to run into you, buddy. I'm just going back for this. Excuse me. There we go. Yeah, I, I shouldn't be running from these skeletons because I can easily take them out here with this sword. I think these are the, like, bones they leave are kind of decorations that you can use. There's that ghost. Oh, ghost. Leave me alone. You're the bane of my knights. Ugh. You have a cool hat, though. I wish I could get that witch's hat from him. There we go. Ooh, he dropped a monster egg. What is that? Huh. Oh, I think that might be used for the fried eggs. So if we did want to, uh, I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. If we do want to make those monster eggs and, uh, uh and kind of, uh, cook some, the fried eggs, yeah. If we did want to get some health, we just need to get back to the cook fire to do that. I'm trying to grab some grass because we'll probably need a bed. Who is that? Oh, hey! That guy looks familiar. S stay back! What if we talk to him? Is that going to freeze everything? There we go. Uh, who who are you? Sniffing my horn. <laughs> you shouldn't be here. It's not safe. You should leave now before it's too late. 
Is this the descendant of the... Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, we got a uh, monster battle on our hands. <laughs> that was the worst timing to talk to him because we already had a ghost. We have only two monsters here, so we should be okay, especially with the new sword and fancy armor. There we go. Extra eggs. There's a slime that's just happily bouncing around in the middle of this fight. Hey, little guy, get out of here. Now, the one thing that would set this game over the edge, I don't think it's probably in this, is that the Dragon Quest games, they pretty much started the monster collecting, battling genre. Dragon Quest V had monsters that you could collect before Pokemon and, you know, before any of those other games. And they were your buddies, and I loved that. Having a slime or a slime knight and a bunch of other different stuff in your party was so cool. So it'd be nice if we could have little slimes help us out. And a lot of the games do have that feature, but I don't know if this one does. We'll find out as we keep going. Okay. You better ready, ready to talk to me, buddy? I saved your life. Cool. I can't believe you actually did it. You defeated the monsters. I found this nice, strong cypress stick. Thought I'd give those monsters a good thrashing, but, well, you can see how well that went. He's not talking with the these and thous, but he does have that helmet, as you can see, as my face phases into it. You might have got lucky this time, but, uh, oh, I missed that, but hopefully you guys got it. Let's chalk this one up to experience and keep our heads down from now on. He's not very brave, but I can smell the fear. <laughs> Thank you and goodbye. I wish you the best of luck out there. Hmm. Well, all right. If you want to go your separate ways. What? A town? There's a town on the other side of the teleportal? And you came all this way just to find me? Well, if you put it like that, I'll certainly come with you. It's not as if I've got anywhere else to go. My name's... Ken... Kenelm. <laughs> Kenelm. Nice to meet you. Feels like it's backwards or something. Malem. No. Uh, hmm. If only you had a Camaro wing, we could get back to town of yours in a flash. That town of yours in a flash. I think I de... Oh, no. I was going to say. I thought we de deposited it. Let's head back to town. I think this is a good place to, to end the episode here. But there are bonfires over there. But it doesn't look like we're reaching it because, look, it's over the ocean. Ooh. Mysterious. All right. I am excited to explore this world. And I'll keep going on this adventure with you guys. Hope you're enjoying it so far. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. I think we can head back and uh, and finish out by talking to my buddies back there that gave me the quest. We're going to use the Camaro Wing, and he'll hitch a ride with me. I love how he just zoom zooms and jumps through the air. That's the spell that maybe we'll learn eventually so we don't have to use a wing every time. Okay. Everyone's freaking out because they're all happy. So this is your town. Hooray, a new friend. Hmm. Brilliant work. Two quests. Let's talk to both of them. By my bulging biceps. <laughs> He's got so many. <laughs> blather and blather skite. You've done it, Tooza. You've built the colossal coffer. With that coffer placed within the boundaries of this great town, you no longer have to worry about running out of room when you're out and about. Ooh. When your item bag is full, this marvelous magical chest will whisk anything you can carry back to your base and store it for you. That is amazing. It's better than I thought. And what's more, you can access the Colossal Coffer and all of the items inside of it from anywhere in the whole wide world. Do you know what that means, Dooza? You can go into the wilderness and gather materials to your heart's content. Amazing. Speaking of gathering materials, have you collected any of the copper, coal, or stone from the home of the Hammerhoods yet? In the Catlin Chronicles describe these substances at length. It seems that if we had a forge, we could use them to smith metal items. Needless to say, you should be sure to seek those substances out without delay. Now that you've got both the mallet and the coffer, it's time to dive into the caves beneath Hammerton Heights and see what you can dig up. So yeah, that is really cool. I can just get as much stuff as I want, use it whenever I want. My bag is full, but we got to place this thing down. Here we go. What would be a good spot for this? I want to make sure it doesn't get destroyed. We have this huge room over here, and there is a bed. I'm just going to take that bed out, and we don't have room for it, but there we go. Is this a good spot? It might be blocking the doorway. There we go. I crushed my straw bed, but that's okay. Let's use the Colossal Coffer. If you have a Colossal Coffer in your base, you can take items out of it at any time by selecting items from the main menu. Even if your inventory is full, any items you collect will be magically transported to the coffer. Okay, so we can open it like this. But we can also, how do we go through these here? There we go. So I can switch through several. It might max out after a couple of these, but that seems like a lot of room. And then if I go to items, yeah, there we go. Look at all that. That is great. No reason to put things in most of the other chests now, it feels like. Because I could just have it in my colossal coffer. So I'm going to take a bunch of stuff out and put it in there. 
What are you talking about, buddy? What's you going? He's he's cheering. Whoa! Look at the size of this place. I had no idea a city this big even existed. Just being here makes me feel so alive. I can't remember the last time I felt so full of energy. Thanks for bringing me here, Doozer. I suppose it's fitting that I'll end up living in Cantlin. My ancestors used to guard here, so if you need someone to keep this place safe, you can count on me. Oh, so that was his uh, ancestors. I'll guard Cantlin with my life. He looks like he would uh, he'd be a good guard. He's got the fighting Viking-looking helmet. Let's talk to LaRouche before we finish up. Ah, uh, Doozer. So you found that fellow I told you about, did you? Judging by that ridiculous hat, he seems he fancies himself something of a soldier. Uh, we don't need his kind here. I never should have told you about him. Hmm? What's wrong with soldiers, you ask? All I'll say is that bad things happen when people band together. Doubly so if you're looking for a fight. Do you have any idea what brought the city of Cantland to ruin? Uh, monsters, most likely? Just take it from me. You really don't want to go making this town any bigger. Still, you were only trying to help here. Here, Doozer, take this. You've earned it. We got a seat of life. And hopefully that'll go into our coffer if I don't have room. There it goes. Yeah, you can even see it go into the coffer. All right, so I think I'm going to finish out here. I'll do some organizing so you guys don't have to sit and watch that. I did block the door with the coffer. I could still open it, I think. There we go. That's going in. <laughs> yeah, that's not a good spot for the coffer. I don't want to break it and have me lose my storage space, but we're going to have to here. So I can... Oh, no. Uh-oh. Let's put some bones down here. That'll make it a little more atmospheric. <laughs> That'll teach these guys to not go in here. This is my bedroom, and this is where I keep my giant oversized novelty chest. And also, where I put my bed, if I can find that, it should be... Yeah, let me, let me grab some of this stuff. We'll eat the seed of life. That's where I snack as well to get some more health. Grab that bed. Yeah, this is... I, I took the biggest room in the castle for myself, and this is my little bedroom here. I should probably organize this a bit better, but we can do that next time as well. I sleep next to the skulls of my enemies. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. This is really starting to open up. We got a lot of places we can go, a lot of things we can do, including a monster battle, which it looks like we will start that next episode with. I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.